How many of you know my fairy tale history? Not that many of you. Okay. You see, I am called the fairy tale minstrel. And folk have asked me, why am I called the fairy tale minstrel? And it's not necessarily just because I play fairy tales or that I tell fairy tales, but that I actually lived in the land where they're made. Yes, that is, that is completely honest and true. I was kidnapped. You see, fairies do not have children. They're immortal. And they steal human children. It has been done over the past many, many times. Now, before the parents get excited and say, oh, please, no, here, it's mine, take it, take it. <laughs> You're not going to get off that easily. They will take your child, yes, but then they will take one of their own kind, dress it up, shrink it down, plump it around, make it look like your baby, but it isn't. It's an imp. It's a goblin. It's a changeling. You don't want to keep these things. They grow up five foot nine, blue eyes, red hair, become minstrels. It's really quite a bad thing. <laughs> My mother wasn't so... Uh, wasn't so uh, educated at the time, and she turned her back on me for but just a second. And the fairies saw me and went, Oh, shiny! And they stole me away. And that was where I lived for a long time in the land of Fae, amongst the she folk. And while I was there, just such a changeling, red hair, blue eyes, played the fiddle, would come waltzing back to the land of Fae because she got bored with humanity. It's a redhead thing, that's what they do. <laughs> And she would come in, and she would announce in her most loudest and raucous voice, Hello, everybody! It's me! I'm here! I'm back! <laughs> I'm finally back from the land of mortals! It's great! I'm here! I'm the most important thing here! Pay absolutely no attention to the fairy queen! It's all about me! She did that right within the ears of Her Majesty. Not the smartest choice, but it's a redhead thing. That's what they do. <laughs> So there was a, um, how shall I explain it, uh, an exchange of words, shall we say? <laughs> and the queen was, yes, the queen was um, irritated to say the least. And, and there was a, uh, a duel, a duel proposed between the fairy queen and this fiddling changeling girl. Now, the queen looked at me and she said, boy, go fetch the fiddles. And I replied, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I ran back into the deep, dank depths of the Kanukanashi, which is what we call a fairy hill. And I found the fiddles. And I brought them out. And I shined them up. And I tuned the strings. <coughs> and I tightened the bows. And I presented them to the two duelists. <coughs> the music began, you know, nice, sweet, pleasant, as you might think. And then it got a little edgy, a little twisted, a little wicked. It's a redhead thing. That's what they did. And before we know it, the music has filled the entire inside of the Kanukanashi, ready to bring the very dirt roof down upon our heads. And before we could go out screaming, help, help, they've got fiddles and they won't stop playing. <laughs> the music stops. And we are left in naught but silence. And we turn and look. <coughs> and the fiddles are cracked. And the strings are snapped. And the bows are frayed. And we are left to choose who's going to be the winner of this duel. Well, we all know who that's going to be, because it's a redhead thing. That's what they do. <coughs> and with the nee, 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 off she goes back to the land of mortals again until she gets bored. Well, I watched her do this a couple times. And after watching, I realized, you know, the fairy queen isn't quite that good of a fiddler. Maybe, just maybe, if I learn a few tricks from the leprechauns, Maybe I can win my freedom from the land of Fae. So, this is my song. This is how I escaped from the She <coughs> from the land of Fae. I call it He of the She. I think you've got something similar. It's uh, Devil Goes Down to Limerick, something like that. <laughs> One wintry night on solstice night, I watched the wild hunt go. Silver bells and savage yells, my frozen heart laid low. I watched them ride to the mortal side, but I never tried to leave. I bid self band of fairyland, forever there to grieve. The 
hunting horn and the sun reborn called them from human ground. The fairy queen caused quite a scene with the artifacts she found. A little wooden fiddle that she stole from mortal man. She played with glee so perfectly as only fairies can. Simple song before too long made my whole body shake. For deep inside, no more to hide, my soul was now awake. The fairy chain that bound my pain was shattered by it soon. My frozen heart would break apart, I had to get out soon. Beat car from out the finest wood, strong as silver string. Only mortal trust or fairy dust can make a fairy sing. Suddenly, Her Majesty gazed at me cold and hard. I'd like to know where you would go, my humble, hapless bard. The world out there is true and fair, but if you need to be free, through that you can, my mortal man, play better than the she. <laughs> Challenge played, all debts were laid. She beckoned unto me. I took the little fiddle and I held it tenderly, <coughs> remembering the painful thing from which I run away. I made a choice with this new voice to face it here today. Your inner fear has held you here. Now, my lad, you're free. This fiddle 
me bright hollow signs brought me little joy. I lost one world to a rare girl, and now to you, my 